what I like to do on the weekends is make crepes, right? Because it's so easy to make. Because sometimes, like, like pan, it, this is such, I mean, li literally, guys, you're looking at it. It's like flour, milk, eggs, and butter. All right, that's it. All right, it's a really, really easy recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to piece this whole thing together. Okay, and I also like to make it in a blender um, because it's got a pour spout on it. It's got a handle. This has to rest anyway. I throw it in the fridge, give it, make some coffee, and I come back when it's ready. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the wet ingredients. Okay, we're going to start off with the milk. We've got a cup of milk. All right, we drop that right in the bottom. All right, then we got two eggs. All right, we'll take the eggs when I crack them. Have you guys noticed? I've been around the block, guys. I've been in a lot of different countries and I've traveled. And one of the most amazing things about going to Europe, I think, especially Italy, are the color of the eggs. It's a little things for me, you know what I mean? And I haven't seen that until I got here. Can you guys see the color of this yolk? It's like saffron. It's beautiful, right? Okay, so, so this is going to be the base. Put this around top. We're going to give this a buzz. All right. Okay. All right, cool. Now, when you mix ingredients together, like cakes or whatever, it's always important to put the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and not vice versa. If you go wet to dry, you're going to get lumps. If you go dry to wet, the wet's going to consume the dry and fold it and turn it into a batter. A lot easier. Okay? So we got some flour here. Flour's going to go around right top. And then I'm going I'm to buzz this and then we're going to put some melted butter to it. So you got three steps. Okay. All right, cool. So, uh, so we got our batter here. We add a little bit of sugar to this. And the sugar's gonna make it sweet. You don't want too much because you don't want to get too crisp. Okay. Um, more sugar you add, the less pliable it's gonna be because the sugar's gonna get to caramelize. I'm gonna give it one more little buzz, and then we're gonna stream some butter in here, and then you want to let it rest for a little bit. All right. All right. So we got that, and now let's see. Let's see if we can do this without making a mess here. I did this one time and it went over the wall. Melt the butter. All right, cool. And that's it, guys. It should have the consistency of like eggnog or like heavy cream. All right. And I would, I'm gonna, you wanna leave this in the container. Put it in the fridge because it's got a spout. You can pour it. It's got a handle. You can hold it um, for a half an hour. All right. Because when you add flour to liquid, you create what's called gluten. Right. It makes bread really stretchy. It's great for bread because it makes it nice and chewy. Not so great for crepes. And now, because if you put it into a pan, it's not going to want to spread. All right. You have to let it relax a little bit. Um, but take a look at the texture in this when you see it. Isn't that beautiful? Crepe batter. Okay. Was that easy? Or what? Can you guys see this at home? Piece of cake. Okay. Fantastic. So let's put these together. We're gonna take a little bit of our butter here, okay? Now, when you're making crepes, you don't wanna to get too much butter in the pan. You just wanna get enough, all right, so it won't stick. So, whatever you can get on a paper towel is enough. I'll take two tablespoons, pop in the microwave, melt it, and just dab a little bit like that, okay? We're gonna take our crepe pan, and we're just gonna wipe the surface with the top of this, okay? You never wanna get these wet either, by the way. These are cast iron and they'll rust. So you just want to wipe them out when you're done with it. I mean, if you need to wash it, you need to wash it. But if that's the case, um, you want to completely strip it down and then season it like you would a, a regular cast iron pan. Okay? That means you kind of rub it, you burn it, you rub it, you burn it until it builds up a non-stick surface. All right, we're take it one, once these pans are nice and hot, and they're almost hot. Okay. I'm gonna take our batter. All right, we're going to drop it right in the middle, okay? We'll let it start to roll around. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. All right, cool. I'm just going to let this start to come up for a sec. All right, when it starts to pull away from the sides, we're in good shape. All right, while we're doing that, we're going to make a great little apple dish to go along with the whole thing, okay? We got... A saute pan, take a little bit of our melted butter, oops, we'll drop that right in the bottom, 
All right. I'm just gonna roll that around a little bit. Now I've got some uh, apples here that we cut up earlier. All right, and we soaked them a little bit of a um, little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of water, so they don't oxidize as fast. We're gonna drop those right in the pan. Let them start to warm up a little bit. We're gonna add some brown sugar to this, and then we're gonna splash in a little bit of Calvados. How's that sound? That sounds pretty tasty, huh? All right, apples are going in. This is starting to cook. All right. So we got a little bit of brown sugar here, about a quarter of a cup. We're gonna drop that in. And just let it start to warm up. And they've also got some pecans. How nice does that sound? And just let this start to warm up, okay? All right. So apples, a little bit of brown sugar, all right? We're splashing some Calvados right on top of this. So it has like a really kind of great flavor to it. A little splash of Calvados, a little apple brandy. And then also a little bit of cinnamon on top of that too. All right. Okay, so our crepe, our crepe, here we go. This one's looking good, guys. Isn't that pretty? Look at that, guys. There you go, bang. That's what I'm talking about. So we got our apples, almost like a little brown sugar Calvado syrup with some pecans. All right, we got our crepe here. All right. Hey, yo. Uh, all right. All right, so you're gonna warm this up. I'm gonna drop this right on the side. All right, so it's kind of like toast the side on the back. All right, we got one scoop of ice cream. We have two. Just one. All right, cool. So we're gonna fold this over in the side. All right, we're gonna put one scoop of ice cream on top like that. All right. And we're gonna take our apple and pecan sauce. All right. And we're just gonna spoon this right on top. Right? Who wants it? <laughs> Who wants it? Right. All right, a little powdered sugar on top of that. All right, cool. That's it. Crepes with apples and pecans. You guys digging that? Who wants it? You know, <laughs> so do I. Who wants it? Who wants it? What's, what's, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick, what's your name? Sue. Patrick and Sue. Got Here you go. Thank Enjoy you. that. Thank you. You got it. There's two. There's another we'll four. We'll share. We'll totally there share. There you go. We'll share cool. Listen, guys, it was a pleasure hanging out with you today. A lot of fun. Copia is going to be this really fabulous thing in the future that we want you to be a part of. So please pay attention to the website. We're gonna have, some, we're gonna have the, the most brilliant chefs in the world come through here. So it'll be a chance for us to get to know each other and a chance for me to really kind of fall in love with I think the, the, the richest part of the country, all right? And I love being here. Thank you very much. All right.